NKC Art. This is Mrs. Greathouse and I teach at Meadowbrook Elementary. This week we are gonna learn about Monet and we're gonna create water lilies and a footbridge that are influenced by the great Claude Monet. I can't wait to see your work. You're gonna do awesome. Hi boys and girls, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into our sketchbook and then we are going to get the black Sharpie, okay? You're gonna draw kind of an arch line like a rainbow line. Then you're gonna draw one underneath it, okay? I wanna fill them in, make them pretty much connecting. Then I'm going to draw some horizontal lines that go across, okay? And I kind of pinch my fingers to make the paper a little bit smaller. And then I'm just gonna draw these lines that go across. And then I'm also going to make these lines crisscross. So in a minute here, I'm gonna go ahead and crisscross these lines and just have them go across so that it looks like a bridge, okay? Then I'm gonna think about the water. What should I do with the water? And I'm thinking I want, a, I want blue water, so I'm gonna use my paint bucket and paint it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also think about making water lilies. Okay, so I wanna make water lilies like the great Claude Monet. So I'm gonna draw some kind of silly, almost like paint splatter shapes. Okay, and I'm gonna draw a few of them. I'm gonna draw a few of them, maybe like three, four, something like that, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead, once I get them all in, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna paint bucket them. And if you make a mistake, you can just push undo. The back button, I do that all the time. I make lots of mistakes, I have to do that a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep filling them in and keep getting those shapes there. They can be just fun, silly shapes. They don't have to be very serious, okay? Then I'm gonna paint bucket them. So I can paint, paint bucket them all different colors. So like I've got green, and then I can also start thinking about flowers. Do I wanna paint bucket my flowers? Do I wanna paint brush my flowers? I don't know, I do like the look of paint brushes. You know, I like that it's, you know, a little more artistic looking than a paint bucket. Oh, I accidentally have to undo, I got my sky pink. You don't wanna do that. So I drew it in, uh, I drew it in with a Sharpie. I don't know that I really like the look of that. So I'm gonna undo it, use my back arrow. Uh, oops, I've gotta to change to a different color. I've gotta change to pink. Oh, but you know what would be fun is making that blue effect in the water too. I could actually create a blue effect in the water too and just maybe some light reflecting with that spongy brush. And that looks pretty fun. So you can play with that and add some textures. And I can do that in all, all over the water. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paint flowers. I'm gonna make some beautiful pink flowers. I'm gonna go to each water lily and I'm gonna add those colors to each water lily. I wanna make it so beautiful, like somewhere you would wanna sit on a sunny day. Okay, so I keep going to each water lily and getting the colors on there and around there. And you can use more than one color. So if you wanna play with different colors, you definitely can do that. You can even add little centers to your flowers with the yellow or a different color. And so that's what I did. I went ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put some centers in my color, you know, so like some nice areas in the middle for my flowers. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna also think about maybe adding another color, maybe some red and adding that to my water lilies as well, okay? So I'm adding that to my water lilies and I'm just gonna make it a little bit more beautiful, okay? And just really, really show off these beautiful, relaxing water lilies, okay? Then I'm also gonna be thinking about my background. And you know, I might want to think about what kind of color sky I want. Do I wanna have trees in the background? And then I'm gonna go ahead and think about that. And so I added some green, and then I might go ahead and pinch it out a little bit, add some other colors to it, okay? And if you make a mistake with like your bridge or something like I painted accidentally part of it, I can always go back in with the white and paint bucket that as well. And then I added some fun textures to go in the background. And I kind of tried to keep it with the green shades, a little bit of yellow for the sunlight. Looks fun too. And I, I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm, oh, I forgot I should add a sun. I should add a sun in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a sun. And then, yeah, that's like a nice sunny day. And so I just keep doing that. I keep adding my details and making it beautiful. And then, you know, just making it as perfect as I can. I paint filled that bridge just to kind of fix my mistake. And you did great. 